Well, good morning, YouTube, and today we're gonna start polishing the Fountain 24 CS. Hi, Ben. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hi. We're tired. We just got back from taking and transferring the 355 last night, so, uh, so yeah, tired. it's very tight. We're, we're gonna have a long day, but the good news is this sucker's gonna look a lot better in a couple hours. Well, probably in a week. More like a week. Well, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and we are at my buddy Ben's house. Ben went in on the world's stupidest but awesomest decision ever and went in on the boat with me, so he is a co-owner of this ridiculous decision. So we're going to clean it up, and the first thing we're going to do is just give it a quick bath. Then we're going to try and attempt to shove it in his garage, which is going to be some serious precision backing up. Yeah, because we only got like two inches to clear, or maybe even less. So uh, it's going to be an interesting day. Yeah. Pose this puppy down. Oh All right, the moment of truth. We're gonna jam a oblong peg into a small hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta cut a little more. Keep going. Straight out. Close. Three feet. Two feet. It needs to go more that way. Yeah, you gotta cut it that way, yeah. Perfect. Keep coming. You're, keep coming. You're good. More this way. Alright, stop. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, we'll just fit in that car. Wow. Uh, tight. Good job, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, get your, you ate your Wheaties today. <laughs> Oh man. All right, YouTube, here is the plan. So we're gonna remove as much trim as possible. It's like all these button snaps, this trim, uh, we got the lights out and stuff. So we're gonna remove as much as we can so that we can get as good a coverage as we can. And this is what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using Glide Coat. So they actually make stuff for boats, airplanes, and of course, cars. And best of all, I now sell this stuff on my website, normalguyssupercar.com. And yes, you can use the code NGS10 and get 10% off. So let me show you what's in the Glide Coat kit. So this is actually a kit specifically designed for boats and they have different sizes. So this is actually for up to a 30 foot boat. So this will take care of us because well, we've got a 24 foot boat. It's actually closer to 25 feet. And we have a little extra length here. Since it's not an open bow, we have a lot of paint to cover it. Well, I should say gel coat. So here's what's in the box. Ooh, the box. what's in the box? What's in the box? Here's what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box. So, oh shoot, we should have used the uh, wash, but we didn't. Uh, oh well. <laughs> well, anyway, we got washed for later. So we're gonna start with actually with this heavy cut compound. So it doesn't come with that because, well, most of the time you don't need that. But we're gonna start with that. We've got two bottles of the heavy cut compound. Then we're gonna do a nano compound to kind of give it a nice finish. And then here is the actual polish to make it really look nice. We even have a surface wipe that we can do. This helps before you do the ceramic coating. So we're gonna actually ceramic coat the boat and once we get it all polished up we apply the ceramic coating that should kind of keep it looking red instead of this horrible pink color so we're going to turn it back into a red boat and hopefully make this thing look glorious again all right we got most of the trim off and we are just trying to get this one off and you can see right there is a screw and the the head of the screw appears to have snapped off so we're gonna have to drill that out a little but uh, other than that uh so far so good yeah it's pretty gross underneath the trim I'm pretty sure this trim has never been off, or if it has, well, it's been a long time. All right, doing a test spot. I am not a pro detailer, so this is uh, all uh, experimental for, yeah. for me. So that's one pass and uh I'm gonna blow this back. Look, look at that. I'm gonna get my uh that's insane. thing to blow it out. Yeah. Oh I have a cleaner too. Second pass. Starting to get there. 
Dan giving that a go. Getting a test pass of actual polishing. All right, just to show you where we started, that's what it looks like without anything. This is with the heavy cut compound and a microfiber pad, and then this is with the nano compound. Yeah, that stuff. So we haven't even done the final st stuff or the ceramic coating, but you can see like, look at the way the light, see the light right, right there, watch the light. It's all reasonably clear. Now it's kind of crappy. And now There's no it's light. disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a wee bit different. That's pretty cool. Well, it's starting to come along. Wow. It's gonna be a lot of work. Just to show you how much paint is coming off, it's, <laughs> it's basically like coating the entire pad. So we are using some pad conditioner uh, on the heavy compound. And then every pass, like basically doing a small section, not even, I don't even know if it's two feet long, maybe, yeah, maybe two feet long. Uh, then we take and just blow it off in the bucket. You can see how much paint's coming off in the bucket too. Jeez, this is gonna take us quite a while. Whew. All right, the nose is getting close on the one side. This is all just a single pass over here. Still kind of got a little bit of haze. It doesn't, it doesn't look really good until you go over with the other coats. Uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these things. Um, yeah. And then I am starting over here and then you can clearly see uh, <laughs> exactly where it stopped right there. So it's uh, pretty amazing how it's dramatically different. And then we still have all of this to go but it's looking pretty good. And here's what's crazy, check this out. When you stand up here and really look at the two sides, <laughs> holy crap. That's, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> look at that. That's insane. <laughs> wow. All right, YouTube, we have the first two passes almost complete. Ben is finishing up that side. Basically, we did the heavy cutting compound with a microfiber cloth on a DA polisher. And then he is using the nano compound on a, what is it, like an orbital? Or yeah, the cyclodural. Dual orbital, and, and it's a orbital. foam pad, so it's a softer pad and so it's not cut. So basically the heavy cut was to like remove all the oxidation. Then his is kind of make it so it actually shines. And then we have two more steps. So yes, we have to go over the entire boat two more times. We're gonna use the nano polish. And uh, this basically just kind of makes it nice and shiny. And then finally, we're gonna go over the entire boat with a marine ceramic coating. So that should kind of lock in everything so we've kind of been doing just the top we're gonna to do the bottom half later because uh, it's not nearly as bad but the top was really really bad so we'll get it uh, shiny and it's looking pretty darn good so far I have to say it is like it's like a miracle it's like a totally different boat and it even feels nice and glossy oh so nice okay well we got the first two coats done. We're gonna kind of call it good for today. It already looks like a totally new boat. So we still have the ceramic coating. We still have the polish. Whew, it's a lot of work. This is like doing like 12 cars at once. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been working on it since like early this morning and it's late in the evening and we only got two coats on the top. We didn't even do the sides. Whew, yeah, it's a lot of work. Anyway, so we'll continue and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. The next day. Well, good morning YouTube, we're back at Ben's place, working on the Fountain 24 CS. He is working on the Nano Polish, right? So that is the Nano Polish by Glideco. And again, all the products we've been using on this are by Glideco, which are for sale on my website, normalguysupercar.com. And you can use the code NGS10. 
they'll take off 10%. And they have stuff for cars too. So I know a lot of you are like, I don't really care about boat stuff. Well, guess what? They have a lot of stuff for cars and it's all really good stuff. So we're actually gonna be doing a video polishing up and ceramic coating Adam's Porsche soon. So stay tuned for all that, but. Hey, how about my cars? I mean, if you want some, I'll get you hooked up, bro. Before 30. Oh yeah, we can do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I, I mean, I like making things look nice, although I'm not very good at it. It's already looking like a totally different boat. It's pretty amazing. And we still have a bit of work to do. So uh, we're gonna keep on hustling on this thing and see if we can't j just get it gloriously beautiful. All right, I'm gonna try and show this on camera, but it's pretty amazing. So he's using the nano polish, like I said, and he's gotten right up to here. So if you look right here is aligned, you can see this half has not been polished. This half has, look at that. Move the camera left. Yeah, and if you yeah. see that light, look at just this crazy. Look at this light right here. It's <laughs> split right in the middle. Wow, that, that's amazing. And we haven't even ceramic coated it. I know, we haven't even ceramic coated it. And oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, it's like to two totally different boats. That's, that's amazing. Three stages in now. Yeah, three stages in. Whew, this has been a lot of work, let me tell you. This is, like I said, this is like a car times 20. All right, here's the scoop. Ben finished doing the nano polish on the top. Uh, I did another, the heavy cut on the sides. So we need to do lighter cut and then the polish. We're gonna start doing the ceramic coating. So uh, just so you know, for the heavy cut stuff, so let me show you this bottle. So for the boat, for the heavy cut, here's what I found works best is lubricate the pad a little bit with some uh, lubrication yeah. stuff. Then use a lot of the heavy cut compound. I mean, a lot. When you get into and you use a pretty you know. heavy pressure on the pad and it's also using a microfiber pad. So it's a, it's a pretty heavy cut and it takes off a ton of paint and you have to blow it off like every two feet probably i would say like a two foot by two foot square and it's just caked in paint and you gotta like blow it off and clean it and then do it again the other stuff seems to do much better you don't have to blow it off as much we're gonna do the ceramic coating now so it's just the same as doing a car effectively just more of it so we're gonna first there's a cleaning compound or a cleaning chemical we're gonna clean it i think it's basically just like rubbing alcohol get off any sort of residue or anything clean the entire boat now ah, yes here we go the surface wipe so we're going to first do that then for this stuff the actual ceramic coating you put about a dime sized glob onto the applicator pad and then it covers about a two foot by two foot area as i believe what it said and then you immediately buff it off instead you probably want to put two coats on it yeah here we go let's uh let's ceramic coat YouTube, check it out. It is polished, ceramic coated. It's pretty much close to all done. We gotta put back down the trim. We still have to ceramic coat the sides, but the entire top is, <laughs> it's so sweet. So uh, I was crawling in there to work on, I actually polished and ceramic coated the windshield. And when I was doing that, I was crawling up there wearing socks and it is slippery. This is like super slick. So you're gonna have to be really careful walking on this now definitely need to get some like aqua shoes or something but looking 
fantastic. So we will kind of finish it up and do the rest of it in, in another day. And then I think we're gonna have to put it out in the water. I mean, yeah. <laughs> also, don't forget all of these Glide Coat products are available on our website, normalguysupercar.com, and you can use the code NGS10. It'll take off 10%. So yes, we have stuff for Marine and your car. So we have polishes, ceramic coating, uh, waxes, uh, all sorts of car care. I'm actually really pleased with the products. Uh, I think they did a really, really good job. So I can't wait to test out some of their automotive products. We're obviously gonna be doing it on Adam's car very soon. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for all of that. But in the meantime, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Again, check out normalguysupercar.com. Buy some Glide Cup products. I do appreciate it. It's in the garage section if you're looking for it. And we will be doing a lot more car stuff so you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.